I think obesity is due to a number of reasons. Um, many times it's due to um, food insecurities, other times to poor choices, some other times to just culture. And uh, for the young uh, people, all right, um, those who are educated and who can really have access to information about nutrition, my advice will be to have a better variety of uh, food, to have more diversity, to have fresh fruit, uh, vegetables and fruits, and to have less processed food and definitely less uh, food that has more sugar or more fat. I mean, and of course, good balance and a, a good combination between um, healthy food and then uh, good exercise and physical activity. I think that will really limit uh, obesity among younger people. Young people who are educated, right, who have had the opportunity to be educated, yes, they do. They have, the, uh, they have choices and they are smart enough and they have the ability to use social media to access information that they will need to make the right choices. So I think that's what I would suggest. But I have also to say obesity is a disease for poor people as well. And people can say, well, how can you be obese when you are poor? The bottom line is that poor people in impoverished communities do not have access to a diversity of food. So they don't have access to fresh food or uh, fruits. They tend to be more expensive than processed food. They um, feel very insecure and a lot of times they may eat more calories just because they don't know whether they're going to have food for the rest of the month. And so it's easy to get more calories at a lower cost but less nutrition. So we see really uh, obesity in the U.S. to be a characteristic of very poor communities. I think the government can really help, at least in the U.S., <laughs> with appropriate policies. So we do subsidize different types of food, and the subsidies have been in place just because they, were, they have been there for 50 years. Subsidies uh, were introduced 50 years or 60 years ago to make food more available, but now the conditions have changed, so now it's time to start rethinking on what we subsidize. And it's better to subsidize food that can be more healthy for, uh, individual, for people who are poor. And so there is a, a lot of potential for new policies that will help us in this area.